Well, Josh, you're facing really, in effect, two opponents this week. you got Dartmouth uh, to prepare for, but also the players to have exams uh, for the final uh, second semester. Uh, what's this week like going to be like? Well, I think it's a stressful week for them academically, and you know, obviously they're, they're here to take care of that. Um, we try to manage their time, get them in and out of practice as quick as possible, but um, you know, we, we have to be more detailed and organized as a staff just so we don't waste their time. Do you worry about guys thinking, I mean, obviously the classes are important, but is, is that a distraction with this week coming up? Well, I, I think if anything, it, you know, when they come to practice, they're excited to be there and, you know, just to get away from, from their academic load. But I mean, they're all intelligent, you know, young men and, and, and do well in the classroom. And, you know, I think, you know, for the most part, there's more stress, but I think there's more stress just because the games mean a little bit more. And how surprised are you facing Dartmouth? Because, I mean, the way everything looked, looked like you know, Clarkson probably should have beaten RPI, but that, that didn't happen. So, you know, that, that changed your preparation going into this week? Well, the only thing it changes, we probably spent a little bit more time last week um, once we got done with Brown preparing for Colgate because um, that's kind of what you, you, you thought you were going to get. Luckily for us, we did, you know, um, take some time and start watching some Dartmouth. So we were, um, you know, we're, we're pretty familiar with them, and we played them just a couple weeks ago. So it's not like it's, uh, you know, just a brand new opponent. Yeah, Josh, I mean, you beat them 5-1 in, the, in their place earlier in the season. How confident is, is this group going into a, you know, three-game series there? Well, I, th I think it's, you know, it's a tough place to play. And um, obviously, they got the best of us in the, in the last game where, um, you know, I, th I think we can learn from it and, uh, you know, maybe make a few slight changes, nothing too big. But I think, you know, knowing that you've won there before, it's a, it's a nice feeling. And, um, you know, there, there seems to be a little bit more space there where I, they, they clog you up and, and really defend well in the neutral zone. So hopefully we can, you know, use that to our advantage. How important is it going to be to keep that momentum going the way you guys played against Brown? And you played that way up there at, at Dartmouth back in January. So how important is it to, to you know, get that jump uh, this weekend on that? On their, on their home ice. Yeah, I, I think it's huge. I mean, obviously, they have the advantage of last change and the advantage of playing in their own rink. So um, we have to bring a ton of energy. We have to bring our physicality. Um, I mean, I, I think the last time we played them, we were undisciplined with our physical physical play, where, um, but we weren't as physical as we should have been. So I think you'll see you know, us focusing on them being really, really physical with more discipline. What about... Um... I mean, what is it about Darby? I mean, this team was expected to finish 11th this year. I mean, they had a lot of they had nine ties in the season. But I mean, what what is what is it about Darby that has impressed you and made made him a little bit of a surprise team this year? Yeah, I think anybody that really watched him last year saw that like they were in every single game. They were just really young, and, and now this year they've kind of you know turned turned the corner a little bit as far as having a little bit more experience and. You know, obviously, they have a goaltender that keeps them in every game. They, they play really structured. They defend hard. Um, you know, I, I think their young talent has started to gain a little confidence off offensively, and that's when you've seen them score a little bit more. Um, but they don't give up much, and um, you know, they're, they're a tough opponent. You know, Josh, usually in, in this round, when you're going on the road, you're viewed as potentially an underdog. But do you feel like, based on the season series, that you're a better team than Dartmouth, even though they're, you're going to their place? I, I think right now we feel like we're we're confident in the way we play, and if we if, if we play physical, if we play fast, if we possess the puck, then we can play with anybody you know in the country. Um, so you know, obviously, Dartmouth presents a really tough tough opponent, and um, they've they earned the opportunity to play in their own own rink with uh, you know being ahead of us in the, in the regular season. So um, I, I don't think we feel like we're a better team, but I feel like we feel like we can play with anyone. Any particular players on Darmers you have to keep your eye on? Well, you know, they got, you know, Hames, who has, has scores a lot. Um, you know, obviously they're, they're back in. They, they have a lot of different D back there that are pretty active and, and, and defend hard. And then, you know, I think for them it, it starts with their goaltender. We got to make sure we're, we're getting, getting pucks to the net and, you know, having traffic there because he's really talented. What about the job Reed has done? Yeah. He, yeah, he comes in. He missed the first year because of COVID. It, yeah, take a little time to build that up there. But yeah, just the yeah. fact that he's got them where nobody expected. As I said earlier, I mean, just a comment on his uh, uh, effort and performance. Yeah, I think he's. You know, yeah, I think he's a great coach. I think he's. Um, you know, if I don't know who who will win coach of the year, but like I think he's very deserving if he if he were to get it because he's done a, a great job with them this season. Um, you know, to take a team that, you know, a lot of people thought would be at the bottom half of our, our conference to earn a buy. Um, he, he's a good person and, you know, happy for him. Um, and uh, yeah, it should be should be fun to compete against him. Coach, what did you guys do particularly on Saturday that you really hope you see again this weekend? 
well, I thought as the game went on, we managed pucks better um, and, and just put pucks behind their D. And, um, you know, I, I thought we just kind of leaned on them and just, you know, every, every, you know, hit we had early in the game, you know, had a benefit there, you know, as the game wore on. Um, and, and I think when you're going to a series, like it's important that you're, you're physical because they, like I said, I, I like their D core back there. They got good D that can skate. Um, so we have to be physical and hard on them. So, you know, by, if it goes to Saturday and Sunday, like they don't want to touch pucks. So like, we got to make sure we don't pass up hits and, um, you know, we got to box them out defensively and just, just play a, you know, a physical rough style of hockey. How important is it to win game one and maybe, you know, set this kid, maybe set them back a little bit? Yeah, I think, I think for us, our focus has just been Friday right now. So for us, it's, Hey, let's go in there and, you know, you, you can't, you can't win a series on one night. You have to, you know, focus on Friday, take care of business there, and then, and then, you know, regroup and, you know, whatever happens Friday, then we got to go up, go on Saturday. So, um, I mean, for us, it's, you know, you know, you have to win two to win the series, but you can't do it on one night. So just focusing on Friday has been key. Josh, do you feel like there's any advantage to you guys having played a game this past weekend and, and, you know, they'll, they'll be coming off a bye. Yeah, I think, you know, the, just the way it went, I think it's a huge advantage because, um, you know, we kind of came out of it where we could, you know, manage minutes. It wasn't a game that was, you know, extremely taxing where we were, you know, you know, had to play guys 25, 30 minutes a night. You know, we were able to keep some guys at that 18, 19, 20 minute mark and, um, you know, manage our bench that way and then stay fresh. So um, I do think that's the one thing that when, when you go to this new format in the playoffs where you play one, three, one, one, like if we had had to play a second game on, on you know, on or played Friday, Saturday, Sunday this weekend, like, now you're really tired. You're wore out. Um, you know where you know Dartmouth. You know obviously get rested, but they they didn't get the opportunity to play.